everybody. <laughs> What's going on? Well, Alicia, the city is urging residents to save electricity during peak hours. The extreme temperatures are straining our power grid. The last thing we need is a rolling blackout. So, I thought we'd do our part to save electricity. The camera's using batteries, too. So, where's the teleprompter? No, uh, we're going old school. Copies. Ugh. It'll work fine, trust me. Okay, here it goes. <clears throat> do you know how your tax dollars are being spent? If not, get with it. The Fort Worth City Council is currently building the city's $1.4 billion budget for 2012. And you can get involved by attending a number of public hearings leading up to the council's final vote on September 20th. That's right, Alicia. And we're not talking about raising the debt limit or anything silly like that. Unlike our friends in D.C., our elected leaders in Fort Worth are working on a balanced budget. What a concept. Having a balanced budget and spending only the money you have is a pretty remarkable idea. Everyone should try it. Anywho, the proposed 2012 city budget doesn't call for any significant service cuts, but there's a lot of discussion yet to come. You can check out the entire proposed budget and schedule on the city's website. Okay, so Mayor Price told me she's getting very comfortable in her new role and increasingly more comfortable on the streets. In fact, look out your peephole before you open your front door because it might just be Betsy Price. Yep. On September 10th, Mayor Price will be knocking on doors with other volunteers to find children who didn't re-register for school. It's important that no child falls through the cracks and this effort called Prevail to Graduation is helping to get children back in school. If you haven't registered your kids for school, find out how by calling Fort Worth ISD or visiting their website. Tax Assessor Collector, Mayor, Truant Officer. What's next, Harlem Globetrotters? Justin! It's on film, too. <laughs> Chris, did you know that we may be getting some more food trucks in Fort Worth? Very cool. Yeah, these trucks have become pretty popular, and the Board of Adjustment just approved a Fort Worth food park that may come to Weisenberger Street, just north of the Montgomery Plaza Super Target. If the final details are worked out, there could be about six or seven food trucks parked there and ready to serve lunch and dinner customers. Sounds very urban. You know, I hear that the Montgomery Street Cafe is getting a little crowded with the big events at Will Rogers and the Cultural District. And while you can't beat food at the Montgomery Street, residents and visitors will have more choices when the Riata at the Backstage and La Escuela Mexican Cantina open for public events and private parties at Will Rogers Memorial Center on August 23rd. That's it for this edition of the Dark Fort Report. I'm Chris Conley. And I'm Alicia Woodruff.